temperatures are dropping as we look ahead to tomorrow. 82 degrees your high after we had a high of 89 degrees today. Basically we have this low pressure trough, which is keeping our air a bit more unstable, leading to the risk of thunderstorms tomorrow. But it's also bringing in that drier and cooler Canadian air into the Miami Valley. That's how we will start off the work week. And then the high pressure and the heat does take back over as we look ahead to the second half of the week. For now on our satellite radar imagery, you can see the storms kind of taking the path of that trough along uh, into Illinois and across Indiana. That's kind of what's keeping a lot of the storms out of the Miami Valley as they're following this this path. It's going to continue that south and south uh, eastward push and not so much of an eastward push. Uh, basically, there's a low pressure system that will continue to track to the south and southeast that we will see an impact from heading into tomorrow. As well as when we look to the north, there's this stalled out front that will begin to push south. That's also what's kind of helping keep the weather a little bit south of us today as well. But these two systems combined is going to bring us the chance of storms tomorrow. Right now, our eyes are turned to the west as we look at this line of severe thunder storms moving across Champaign, Illinois, approaching the Indiana border. Basically what we're looking at is the stronger portion of this system is going to continue to push south and southeast kind of along that jet stream and will likely miss the Miami Valley. It's likely this northern end that it does have that eastward push will weaken as it tracks across Indiana and we won't see too much from this system, but it is something that we will have to keep an eye on. If it holds up, it could be impacting the Miami Valley around 2 a.m. between 2 and 4 a.m in the morning. Here's a breakdown of future track. As I mentioned, it looks like that eastern push will weaken as it tracks across Indiana. A few storms by 4 a.m. could be impacting regions from Richmond down to Middletown and into portions of the, the southern half of the Miami Valley early tomorrow morning kind of uh, from that system. Then as we look ahead to Sunday later in the morning, we keep the chance of scattered to isolated thunderstorms pretty much off and on during the day. Then as that cold front pushes to the south, we have another risk of stronger to severe thunderstorms due to the extra lift in energy from that front. We will have to watch out for those 60 mile per hour wind gusts within any thunderstorms that do develop tomorrow afternoon and evening. Notice Monday, uh, not too much to talk about. Things will be much drier. There is a marginal risk of severe weather tomorrow along that cold front in particular in the afternoon and evening. Temperatures will be cooler as the front drops through. Just before the front gets here, we'll be in the 80s and temperatures will drop behind the front back into the 70s. We are tracking scattered to isolated showers tomorrow as well as uh, the, the risk of severe weather. A nice sunset there on our Goodwill Auto Auction camera. Right now it is 71 one degrees here in Dayton. We are looking at a west wind about six miles per hour.